easiest way to use DGML models on your local computer is to use C transformers. Let me tell you why C transformers is amazing. All it takes is a couple of lines of Python code and you would have had a 7 billion parameter model or a 13 billion parameter model running on your CPU, not GPU, CPU. Like look at this right now what you're seeing on screen is the 7 billion parameter 4-bit quantized model running on a CPU of Google Colab. Let me show you the CPU so that you think that, you know, this is a 12 GB RAM CPU and 107 GB storage. And let me show you once again that I'm running it on CPU and you can see the streaming text of Llama 2 7 billion parameter model. This is all happening because of GGML. First of all, it's a 4-bit quantized model, but also thanks to C transformers, that makes it extremely easy for you to use it. Like you can see the text, you can see the responses coming in. And I'm going to show you how you can set it up yourself as you might have already guessed, just a couple of lines of code. First to start with, let's explore C transformers. What is C transformers? C transformers is a Python binding for the transformer models that are implemented in C, C++ using GGML library. So when you have got the four bit quantized models, like the models that the bloke publishes all these models, if you were to run these models, this is probably the easiest way to download. One of the easiest way, let me say like that. One of the easiest way to download the model from Hugging Face Model Hub and then start running it on your local machine. And uh, the way you set it up is pip install C transformers. That is all it takes. It took me eight seconds on Google Colab to run this. And then you import from C transformers, import auto model for causal LM. And then you define your LLM object, auto model for causal LM from pre-train and give the hugging face model up. So if you have got the ggml file or the dot bin file already in your local machine, you can give the local path. But if you do not have it in local, if you have it in hugging face model up, then you can give the hugging face model up link. But let's say there are some model hub repositories where you have got like multiple models. And if you want to specify and give a particular model, so you have got like here in this case, you've got a Q2 model, you've got a Q3 model, you've got a Q4 model. And even then you've got like different quantization methods. These are the old quantization methods. There are new K quantization methods. There are different quantization methods. So if you want to pick one particular quantization method, and if you want your code to use that, then you can specify that within the model file as well. So you can go ahead inside the model file, you can specify what is that particular dot bin file that you want to use. Once you give that the model is downloaded. Now you're all set for using the large language model for whatever you want. For example, in this case, I've asked a question, why is life hard? And I wanted the model or the large language model to stream the answer. When you try to stream the answer, it gives you a generator. So we're trying to print it in um, with every single token or the word that comes life isn't easy that's for sure and then it keeps on saying all these things so it says oh so why is life hard life isn't easy but it is worth it and it gives you it gives you a really coherent like sometimes quantized models may not give you a coherent text because of the quantization it loses a little bit of that accuracy that the large model would have but for a four bit quantization model the seven billion parameter model it does a pretty good job so it, it has done a tremendous job of giving you all these answers so let me go ahead and ask the one of the question that we usually ask, right? A joke about Elon Musk. I mean, a lot of people don't like when I ask this question, but it kind of gives me a consistent question. I've somehow picked up this question to be the consistent question and it starts giving you um, the answer. So right now you can see not very good, I would say. So yeah, here is a sample joke and it gives um and once again like these kind of things happen because primarily you know i'm also trying to stream that why did elon musk stop let's come back and read the question but meanwhile i wanted to show you that what kind of things that it supports one it supports these are the family of models it supports gpt2 family gptj family gpt neo x family it also supports falcon it supports llama and llama 2 it supports mpt it supports star coder and star chat from the big code which is the research wing of hugging face Dolly 2 from Databricks and also the Repellent model. And it also has got support for CUDA and Metal. So not necessarily only on CPU. I mean, I particularly wanted to make this video on CPU to show you that it is possible to run on CPU. But if you've got the older CUDA machine, which is the NVIDIA GPU, let's say 2018, 2017, or even like GPUs before that, you can still use that. And uh, if you're interested, let me know. I'll try to make a separate tutorial on that. If you have got the Apple Silicon machines, the Metal CPU, MPUs, then you have got uh, Metal support as well. And like I said, the installation is very simple. 
usage is very straightforward and you have flexibility like if you want more control over the inference like for example you want to generate the token and then detokenize yourself you can do that as well and uh, like i said you can download the model from hugging face model hub and of all the biggest one is you've got also the lang chain support so if you want to leverage lang chain but you want to use ggml models probably this is this is what you can use it i have particularly not tried lang chain extensively but i think i would love to use a ggml model to do rag um, retrieval augmented generation with ggml model something that a lot of people have been asking me to do so i'm definitely going down this path to try more items but if you want to use with gpu then you can just install this uh, that enables the c transformers with cuda and you have to specify the gpu layers the number of gpu layers and they've got an experimental support for gptq and good thing is they've got all these like google collab notebooks for you to try it out and they've got lang chain support as well just like i said so all the things of lang chain are not supported yet so i'm not sure if i can do rag but at least lang chain as a wrapper has been supported so we can understand the depth of lang chain support not just entire abstraction but it also has a lot of parameters like i said streaming is one thing that we did you can stop you can specify the maximum number of tokens you can specify the temperature uh, repetition penalty a lot of things that you typically would do with transformers library you have those parameters for you to do with c transformers as well going back to the google collab notebook why did elon musk stop using twitter because he kept making jokes and people didn't find them funny with emoticons remember they write uh, okay so now this is it doesn't um, it gives like a solution about what is a good joke but for a question that write a good write a joke about elon musk i think it did a pretty decent job of writing a joke about elon musk so what we have learned in this video we have learned in this video that c transformers is probably your bff for running ggml models these are c or c++ quantized models um, not the pytorch models quantized models of really large language models that are um, quantized using different quantization techniques like four bit quantization technique or the quantization k technique that we just saw so these are these models and we learned that c transformers is one of the easiest way to run these models on local machine it also has got cuda support it also has got some meta support and these are the families of model it supports including the latest big hit that is the llama 2 model and also something that i still like the falcon model and the thing with this is it is quite flexible it gives you a little bit of control over how do you want to print and tokenize and also not necessarily every time you have to have the model in the local folder you also can download the model from hugging face tokenizer it has got support for lang chain which i'm still yet to explore but overall this seems like the really good package that not a lot of people are talking about to run your ggml or the four bit quantized or four bit or eight bit or six bit or two bit quantized models locally on your computer i'll link this google collab notebook in the youtube description if you want to try it out if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise very happy prompting